revenge for the so-called merchant of death, Victor Boot, the notorious Russian arms dealer, and public pressure has been mounting on the Biden administration to get Griner home. The question, is an athlete and an accused spy worth the release of an international arms dealer who supplied weapons to enemies of America? Jamil Jaffer is former White House counsel to President George W. Bush and a founder of the National Security Institute. So what say you, Jamil? Is this a fair trade? Well, you know, it's it's hard to say. I mean, the challenge here is that they've got, uh, the Russians know that they've got somebody we really want, uh, Brittany Griner, and somebody we've wanted for a long time, Paul Whelan. Um, and we have somebody they really want back uh, in a big way. I mean, he's serving a 25-year sentence. Victor Buda is the infamous uh, Merchant of Death, made famous by uh, by at least two movies uh, here in the U.S. Um, so, look, I mean, it, it is hard to know whether any deal is worth it. Um, but certainly, if we're getting both Bernie Griner back and Paul Wheel and the administration is clearly taking it seriously and considering whether this is the deal to be made. The challenge, of course, is if you do this deal, are you encouraging more hostage diplomacy, more Americans to be taken there's already uh, more than a dozen Americans already uh, taken overseas by countries like Iran, China, Russia. Uh, could this lead to more? Well, and what's the answer to that? Well, you know, I think I think what the Russians are learning is yes. I mean, they, they took Brittany Griner on trumped up charges to be sure she's now admitted that she had these two vape cartridges with her. Um, but they kept they they took they took uh, they took they arrested her. Uh, a week before they went into Ukraine, knowing that they were going to go into Ukraine, knowing that we'd be putting pressure on them about that war, not knowing necessarily that we'd be as involved in Ukraine as we've been, uh, but knowing they might have something to trade. And here they are, um, uh, these trumped up charges, trying to put her in jail for 10 years for two vape cartridges. Uh, they've got us over a barrel. And the Biden administration is now looking to have to engage um, and maybe do a really big deal uh, for Brittany Griner and, of course, uh, Paul Whelan. Not a great situation. And meanwhile, can we ask behind the scenes, do you suspect this is already a done deal? Would the White House really negotiate this in public? I, I don't know if we've seen a president do that. You're right. We haven't seen a president do that. Uh, the last time we saw a trade actually happen uh, was the trade of a Russian pilot for uh, Trevor Reed, another American who was there uh, captured in Russia a few, about a month or two back. Uh, Governor Bill Richardson from New Mexico uh, was involved in that the Richard Institute, his his uh, his think tank uh, and nonprofit there in New Mexico uh, was part of that effort. And so we know that Governor Richardson has been involved in this. He might be brokering this deal um, and at least telling uh, the, the Biden administration what it is the Russians want and, and trying to see if there might be a deal to be had. We do know that Bernie Griner pled guilty just a week or so, a week or two ago. Uh, that was a surprise. I don't think it'd be expected that. It may very well be that one of the conditions for doing a deal was Brittany Griner taking responsibility. That might be what we're seeing here and that now playing out in the long run with the Biden administration putting boot on the table and sort of testing it to see if there's a big bat, a big reaction. From interesting, interesting. And I do want to make sure we get to this uh, third question, so we'll do it quickly. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and the White House speaking on this deal. Um, also, Blinken will be talking to his Russian counterpart for the first time since Russia's invasion of Ukraine in the coming days. Let's take a quick listen. Our governments have communicated repeatedly and directly on that proposal. And I'll use the conversation to follow up personally and, I hope, move us toward a resolution. The, the offer has been, uh, been made um, and, uh, and uh, we certainly hope that, uh, that Russia will uh, favorably engage on it. So, Jamil, if I could get your 15-second response, if this deal does go through, how dangerous is it for Victor Boot to be free again? Is it likely Americans will die as a result of his work? Well, whether it's not American, certainly other people in the world will die because he's a committed arms dealer. I doubt he's going to leave the trade um, now having been through it and gotten out of it once. All right. Jamil Jaffer, the founder of the National Security Institute, a former associate White House counsel. Thank you so much for your time.